What's going on people? Hope you're doing well. I've been meaning to make this video for a while now to talk about this, the San Martin NH34 GMT. You know, I've had this watch since I think the end of December and I've worn it a lot. I've taken it to work when I'm wearing a suit. I've worn it when I'm dressed like this a lot more casually. And I just think now I've got a good grip on this watch. I've got enough information to, to make an educated, um, educated review, I suppose. This isn't going to be a long video. I'm not going to go too deep into the specifications or whatever. I'm just going to give you my overall overarching viewpoint. As you can see from the title, I regret buying this watch. That's not to say this is a bad watch, but you know I'll get into that a bit later on. As for right now, I think it's only only right that I do the customary wristwatch check. I've got here my Casio. I did an unboxing video yesterday. Um, and yeah, I love it. It's so colorful, perfect for the summertime. Just a cool little watch. So yeah, San Martin. They're a Chinese watch manufacturer. They're known for making a lot of, you know, homage watches, let's say. Watches which imitate more expensive timepieces from luxurious brands. I know they specialize mostly in dive watches, but they have also brought out other kinds of watches as well. You know, a few months ago, I saw a photo of the Tudor Black Bay Pro. And honestly, I fell in love with it. I loved it. I wanted the watch. I couldn't afford it. I still can't afford it. And I just thought, man, I want to find something that looks a little bit like that watch. You know, something that looks not, not necessarily ripping off the design, but something that looks similar. Do you know what I mean? Something that I can enjoy. Then I came across these guys, San Martin. I was like, okay, let me watch some videos, some unboxing, some reviews. And then I pulled the trigger. I think I got this for like £220 after I used all the coupons, all the discounts, all that stuff. Managed to cop this for £220. This isn't going to be a wholly negative review, but I'll say this. I, I am impressed by this watch, for sure. I just think the quality you're getting at this price point is actually insane. I think the build quality is really good. It's so comfortable on the wrist. I love the bracelet as well. The bracelet, in my opinion is better than anything I've seen at this price point, sub 300 pounds. Like, I'm not even joking. The clasp as well, really like that too. And of course, their use of stainless steel and the sapphire crystal. Another thing which I really like about this watch is the fact that it's two millimeters thinner than the original Tudor Black Bay Pro. You might think this was gonna be wholly negative, but honestly, I just thought it was right that I list some of the positives. You know, there's things that I really like about this watch. I think San Martin have done a great job here. However, the same reason why I fell in love with this watch is the exact same reason that I've fallen out of love with this watch. When I first saw the Tudor Black Bay Pro, honestly, I was enchanted. I thought it was amazing. I thought, wow, I would love to own that someday. And thanks to San Martin, I managed to find that very similar or almost the same aesthetic at a much more uh, accessible price point. But ultimately, even though I loved this watch at the beginning, like I was taking photos of it, I was putting it on my Instagram, I was really showing it off. I loved it. After a while, I thought, man, I'm just wearing a replica. You know, I think there's something beautiful about saving your money, working hard, being diligent, being patient, putting in all those hours, all that graft, and then finally having the satisfaction of buying that watch that you've wanted for months, for years or whatever. With this, I just feel like I'm cutting corners. For that reason, I feel like this watch has no personality. That for me is the issue why I regret buying this watch. It's got no originality. It's just a ripoff. It's literally the exact same design, just a slightly bit thinner at a much more lower price point. I've realized recently that to me, you know, the branding, the horology, the history, it's really important to me. I don't get that from San Martin. On the flip side though, I just wanted to talk a little bit about San Martin as a brand. There's a few things I really appreciate about the brand. First of all, as I said, the build quality is insane. The amount of intricacy, attention to detail, second to none. At this price point, it's amazing. And I've got to give them credit for that. Another thing, you know, San Martin as, as a company, I really respect the way they go about things. You know, recently on their Instagram, I've seen them uh, post designs, watch designs that they've been making and asking customers what they think about those designs to give their opinions, to give some constructive criticism. Listen, that's something that's very rare for a watch brand nowadays. So I appreciate them for that. I think they've done a great job in that regard. 
I really believe that if San Martin started to make more original designs rather than just stealing another watch's appearance, I honestly think they could be really successful. If you look at their high quality to price ratio, their sturdy construction, and their use of reliable movements, I really think they could be a big player if they go down a different route. But yeah, that's just my thoughts, people. Let me know what you think. Would you still buy this watch knowing that it's a homage? Let me know, because I've fallen out of love with this watch, but I haven't fallen out of love with San Martin, that's for sure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.